The project here in St Ives is called Loop the Loop and our subtitle is Creative Adventures Inspired by Books. I just walked into the library and then the librarian told me to come up here and there was a, a film thing going on. It was really beautiful. It was really nice to watch. <laughs> I am uh, one part of the Paper Cinema, which is uh, live animation and live music. Uh, so it's animation working in conjunction with live music and the images and the sounds to convey the falsehood of watching a film, but also the ability to see the whole uh, making of, 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 the, of, the, of the plot and, and sounds and everything like that. So, yeah. the, the Paper Cinema is a lovely um, area just for people to dream, and we are very bullish about making that people can draw, so they have to instill that kind of early drawing spirit and get around the arm, um, and, um, and everyone threw themselves straight at it. It's the first time we've actually done a, a workshop in a library like this. So it was a, a, a blessing and a curse. There was a lot of people getting distracted, but also, yeah, there were people pulling out things to reference and, and, and help enable their, their designs and things that they didn't know, which has actually been very good. These days it's normally on the iPhone that people are pulling up all these images that they don't know. But it's nice to actually have books and to physically go through books. And... It was good, yeah, it was a real eye-opener. Um, it was all new to me, it's not something I usually do. I mean, it was a bit kind of chaotic and manic, but then that's what it allows like anyway. That's what we usually work like. But it was nice, I think it stretched our kind of boundaries of like what we kind of usually imagine or sort of you know kind of share together and um, it's nice to use art in that way. The libraries had their own ideas about what would be good about it and obviously as an artist you have your own ideas about what's good about it and that's also great about this collaboration. It wasn't difficult for me to choose a piece of work for the library because I actually had developed a piece of work from a book that I had selected from the library collection and I had just finished reading. Called, and it was a book um, by a local artist, um, well, a surrealist, um, who called Ethel Colhoun. So the work I produced was directly inspired by this book, which I borrowed from the special collection in the library. We had more or less a kind of drop-in session um, where people could come and we, they were given loops of film. They could draw on it, they could scribe into it, um, and there's three different types of film that they were given. So the found footage was of um, 1978's Football Stars. Um, it was uh, just found footage bought from eBay. The idea is that you could destruct the image or you could scribe into the image to interact with the image that's already there. And then when the, when the footage is projected at 24 frames per second, you have the, 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 the image on the stock is kind of moving at a really nice pace with this uh, scribed animation over the top. You get these two different sort of visual languages that work together. The other stock we were using was a clear film stock, clear film leader, and this allowed people to just draw with nail varnish um, to put tape over it, to draw with indelible pens, to, to, to paint with ink onto it and to sprinkle salt into the ink would create like a crappy surface. So I mean this was really the sort of drawing and, and painting into film from scratch. We then kind of spliced together as, as part of a bigger show reel um, and showed at the end of the, at the, end of the sessions. Another aspect of the project was um, the installation in the foyer where, um, again, through talking to the library staff, um, I f became very interested in the process of withdrawing books because the choice about, it's not just about what books come in, it's also what books go out of the library. And um, I felt that by exposing that process it might help to people to have a chance to think about their taking ownership of their library because if you don't take the books out they may go so lots of the books that we put out got taken out so uh, that was fun i'm going to go and see florence i'm now going to be in st ives have a little chat to her about my children which you know i tend to do 
because she knows them because they've come here a lot and I'll have a bit of what, what I call face-to-face -face contact yeah. and, that's, and that's what I, I opted for face-to-face -face opposed to face-to-screen. This, for the last fortnight we've had the Loop the Loop project, we've had a jazz band in and we've been working with the Coffee and Crime book group and we did some readings and music which was really interesting, exciting and a great pleasure to be involved in. Uh, it's been great to have the great buzz around the library for having something different in it and I think lots of people have come in wondering what's going on which is always a bonus to actually interact with people asking questions, what's going on, what's happening. Jazz is very, very interested and focused upon the idea of tradition that you learn from the people who played before you. What we're doing is, um, is, is different. One of the things that um, we are more interested in is the idea of minimalism. That you take melody and tunes down to their to small <coughs> sounds that you repeat over and over again. It's much more, if we do quotations, it's much more quoting what we've played within ourselves, within the band. You know, we're listening to the way the music's evolving. Once we had all the funding and everything, I started to think about other ways of bringing young people in. And Joe Greenaway is a very well-known, well-thought-of younger artist from St Ives. And uh, he also is a member of the surf community. So that was a way of, you know, hopefully bringing in a broader range of people than might come in and hopefully increase the footfall and interest of local people in the library. If you're just presented with the outcomes of experimental work, it can be hard to engage with. So if you actually see the process of how people work then, and have a chance to have a go, then you become much more interested, potentially much more interested. So we're kind of doing art outreach <laughs> for our own practices. The library, the age range of the type of people who might be interested in that type of work are the age range who the library might be interested in. Oh, well, yeah, I really like the paper stories, basically just, like, draw your own characters. It doesn't have to be, like, a, like, a character like Dennis the Menace or something. You can just draw your own character and make up one. i got a guy called Fr Frank who goes in a wardrobe and goes through a vortex with a hamster in a space helmet. And so, yeah, I found it very funny. And the drawing on film's good. You, like, get varnish, ink, felt tip pens and salt, and you just kind of draw on it, put it through the projector and just get these amazing patterns of stuff you can use. Well, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, just right from the start, since we began by sort of drawing images onto pieces of cardboard and then cutting them out, um, we got really into doing that. We both, the person I was sitting to, who I got to know, I mean, it was a very nice social occasion. People were very, very friendly. Lovely background music going on to sort of accompany the animation. So it was a nice atmosphere. Very creative. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I had a great time. And I particularly like looking at the old footage, the old um, footage, and I found one of a gate, um, and it just worked really well. But it was a surprise, which was really nice. But it's nice just to sort of um, tackle something like this without it being kind of um, too prescriptive and too definite that you just experiment with these things, and then you just get some a beautiful result after, which I found really enjoyable. For us, so we do home ed um, and we use the library as a lot as a resource and I think it's a shame that the hours have been cut of the library so I think it's great uh, because it's a very central part of St Ives, um, the space is really quite conducive to you know people coming and sort of experimenting and to do that in a library as well, to feel free in a library to do all this kind of thing, I think, I think it's great. <laughs> we would run drop-ins so that people could have that kind of time to talk to the artists and the quality of engagement um, and again the same thing I talked about before where people are self-choosing they choose whether they want to participate or not and then um, and people um, for, for Jackie's drawing on film people came back day after day and that was the idea you know instead of it being this thing where you just pop in come to the blah and if you miss it it's gone <laughs> the idea that it could grow and develop and people came back and were having a go with me with a processing in film taking footage you know um, and then going upstairs and doing some work on drawing and writing Yeah.
think Jo's been very good at that because she's been in the foyer so she's been able to talk to people and explain about her project which was something that came out of a conversation that we had one day in the library and from there she's got funding and we've um, had the project. It will be great if other libraries could do something like this because it brings more people in, it brings different people in and it has a lovely buzz about the place.